Hello, my name is Tiffany C. Wright and I am the Resourceful CEO. So today I'm here to talk to you again about streamlining your operations, but this time I'm going to go into more detail about what that means. So let me pick a process. There's, let's, let's use your financial operations. Uh, with your financial operate, the goal of your financial operations is to make sure that your company is generating enough operational cash flow for it to continue. And if there isn't sufficient cap, operational cash flow for you to understand why that is the case, if, if you're growing, you're expanding, you likely need working capital, um, additional working capital um, to cover the gaps between your receivables and your payables. And in that case, you need out external financing, or if you're trying to, uh, if you need to purchase new equipment or opening or opening up new uh, venues and so on, you may need additional external capital, which is called financing capital. Um, if you have, um, if you are buying things, buying large assets buying buildings and so on, and you're actually buying it in a company name, if you're buying it in your name, it's a different story. But if you're buying this in your company name, then that would be investing cash flow. You're using money for, um, <laughs> you're using money to acquire assets or you're selling off your assets to generate more cash. So there's three categories, operational, financing, and investing. But we're just here to focus on operational and financing because that really is what um, drives most businesses as they grow. So in your financial operations, you want cash flow. And so how do you make sure that that happens? One, you need to have, if you're offering, if you're a B2B business, then you're offering, typically offering your client, your customers terms. Those terms could be 10 days, those terms could be 30 days or anything in between. They could also be due on receipt. You have to determine what the, what terms you're going to offer your client, your customers. Too many businesses just automatically offer terms. No, you need to do your due diligence, check with their reference, have them fill out a credit application, check their references, and then um, based on the references, their length of time in business and so on, you determine what they get. It may be 30 days out the gate. It may be uh, 10 days. So you do that. Then it's, okay, how, what's your, take a look at your aging, your AR aging, that's your accounts receivable aging and your uh, accounts payable aging. Are your accounts receivable be, being paid on time? If they're not, you need a policy for that. How are you going to collect your accounts receivables and make sure that they don't go, get to 30 days in the first place? So once if you have a good credit policy, next up is a collect, good collection policy. And I like to do more of a customer-centric collection policy so it doesn't feel like collections. It feels more like you know gentle reminders and opportunities to learn more about your service. <laughs> <laughs> or product. Then the the next thing would be to, um, so after you have that, you have to make sure you're bringing in all the information into your software, for instance, QuickBooks, and your a bookkeeper or whomever is putting all that information in on a timely basis. So you need to say, you know, what's, what's timely? Um, when the bills come in within, within, you know, the day, whatever. Those are the kinds of things you need to do. Then it's um, uh, getting ready for a monthly close. And then it's, you know, payables, re supplier relationships, vendor relationships. How are you going to handle all of those? Or how are you handling all of those? And what's the best way? What's the goal with your suppliers and vendors? Are you trying to get terms? Do you, you want a long-term relationship? All of these things you need to consider when you're streamlining your operations. So th there's all these different components. Then with your financial operations, you need to take, you need to generate monthly financial statements and review them to see if there's anything else going on that could cause you issues. 
So continuing, if there's things going on that could cause you issues by reviewing your financial statements, you'll be made aware of them. You need to look, I always say, uh, create a forward-looking budget which is what are your goals? So you identify your goals in advance for the next year, three years, whatever. But for that particular year, what are the goals? And then you have the budget reflect, um, build that in. And so you then compare on a month to month basis how you're doing versus your budget. But you also need to take a look at how you're doing compared to previous months or compared to the previous year. And just by looking, this isn't, you know, you can set up your your uh, statements to generate um, percentages so that it's easy to compare. <laughs> just have the a software system do that because other, other times you can miss it, but you can, so you compare, you want to make sure you compare apples to apples and you can see what's going on and then figure out what's the cause of that. And that's part of streamlining your financial operations is to set it. So what you would do is say close by the bookkeeper needs to have everything in by, uh, let's say the, the fifth of the month and the accountant needs to then go through and close everything and make sure there's no gaps and all of these things that are involved in closing, checking the bank account statement and all of that by the 10th of the month. And then the owner needs to review that financial statement no later than the 15th of the month and work with the uh, executive leadership or managers, GM, whomever, if, if he notices any issues. And also, I think it's best if the executive leadership or general manager has some understanding of these financial statements too, so that to <laughs> so that everyone can be talking about the same thing and know what's going on. So that is an operation. It's a set of, that's streamlining an operation. These are, my overall goal is to have enough operational cash flow to run my business. If I don't have enough operational cash flow, I need to get financing cash flow. So I need to know why I need it why I need that amount of financing cash flow and what I need it for. I need to make sure, and especially if I have a particular goal, and I say set a goal for the amount of cash flow and profit and so on that you want, but make sure that, um, so you have to set everything up. You have to break down each part of that, of that, um, of each component of what it takes to have strong operational cash flow from a financing, from a financial or accounting perspective, and break it into all the components, and then set up um, uh, set up accountability um, for everyone who is involved in each component of that, so that things get done in sequentially or simultaneously, depending in that they get done on time and so that each month it, it, this is smooth it's not one month we do it this way another month we do it that way no that's not streamlined each month you do it the exact same way if you had somebody leave obviously they would need to come up to come up and understand the system and how everything works and so on but they could relatively quickly at least be able to contribute if everything is in everyone's head or one person does it one way and another person does it another way, that's just not possible. You will not get the same results and you will have issues. So that's just an example. I could do that for sales. I could do that for sales operations. I could do that for marketing. I could do that for just the overall operations of the firm. But the point is that when you streamline, you look at what's the objective of that particular department what are the goals for that department? How do you effectively, how do you measure it? How are you gonna measure the attainment of those goals? So like, what are your KPIs, key performance indicators for that? And then, uh, and then set everything up in order to achieve that. Boom, boom, boom. 